Hi everyone and welcome back to another Stay in Touch video. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up direct bill for a company or a travel agent. Let's get started. First, we need to navigate to the Company and TA Cards page in Rover. Start by choosing the sidebar menu, Revenue Management, and then Company and TA Cards. Your very first step is to open up the company or travel agent's card and make sure an accounts receivable number has been assigned to the card. This is probably the most important step to do because you won't get very far in this process without it. So let's check and make sure everything is set up correctly. Type the name of the company or TA card in the search bar. In this example, I'll use a company card. With the card open and while reviewing the contact information tab, Ensure that an accounts receivable number has been assigned to the card. We can clearly see that this card has been assigned an AR number. However, if your account does not have an AR number, we'll need to create one. Let's see what that looks like. First, click the Create Account button. Rover will then open the AR Account tab. In the space provided, enter an AR number or allow Rover to create one for you. Then, make sure the direct billing toggle is set to Yes. Navigate back to the Contact Information tab. You can see that the AR number you entered appears in the space provided. Now we get to the fun part. Click the Add Billing Information. The company or travel agent's name will appear below the Entity section. What we need to do now is click the Add New Payment Method button. Select Direct Bill from the drop-down menu. Enter a credit limit or reference number if applicable. Then, under the Details section, select the Billing Group or choose individual charge codes that the company or travel agent will be billed for. Lastly, choose Save. Alright folks, there's just one more thing left to do. Set up a contract rate for the company or travel agent from the Contracts tab. In this space, you'll begin by assigning a name to your contract rate. Then, begin typing the name of the rate you'll base this contract rate off of. I'll choose bar for my rate. Next, set the contract's rate price. You can increase or decrease the rate by a dollar amount or percentage, depending on your preferences. And then, select the dates you'd like to make the contract available for. For my property, I'd like to be able to see the rate on the guest bill, so I'm going to toggle this option to Yes. There are some other options on this page, but for now, this is all I need, so I'm going to click Save Contract. And that's part one of our direct bill setup video. Proceed to part two to watch the final steps of this process and to make sure you know how to check that direct bill has been configured correctly. Thank you so much for watching, and keep an eye out for new videos on our YouTube page and in our knowledge base.